Hey, what's up guys, it's me David back with another video and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the UniOjo Full HD Wi-Fi camera. This one is a new one, it is an upgraded version of the previous one that I reviewed. And bam, let's get this video started. So the unique thing about this new UniOjo camera compared to the last one is two things. The resolution is slightly higher. This is 2K uh, instead of a slightly less than 1080p on the last one. And this also has Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa uh, capabilities in it, which is pretty darn interesting and a little bit scary because that's like the full package of home uh, surveillance things for big tech to have on you. You have a camera, which can spy on you, and then you also have Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. It's the same type of box as last time. It's uh, just a cardboard box with some nice printing on it, standard fare. It's basically the Amazon box, but it has colors, so that's how you can describe it. So, as you can see, it kind of dangles. And the reason for this is like last time, uh, the camera swivels its head. So this is the camera. Uh, it is not as good of a plastic as last time. Uh, the last plastic was significantly heftier and like felt more solid. Hopefully this doesn't sacrifice on quality. The mechanism for the rotation of the head seems to be a lot better, it's smoother. Um, just the plastic thing is kind of shocking me a little. So inside the box underneath um, the camera is a start guide and a giant bag of accessories. Uh, this is a cardboard box. Feels kind of cheap, um, which is fine. And inside is this giant wad of stuff. So you got um, a mount, so two plastic uh, things for mounting, a cap, I'm not sure what that's for. A plug. And a cable. So this is the same type of plug as last time and the cable is the same as well. Uh, it uses micro USB. And what I always like to see is what type of adapters and plugs that they give for you. Because this is like a really good indicator about the overall quality of a product. If this accessory is low quality, then generally the product itself is low quality as well. So this is always a good indicator of what it is. And I'm pleased to report this is mediocre quality. So um, for the price, that's completely normal, completely acceptable. In fact, it's probably like expected. Oh, and this is pretty cool. So if you get the head of the camera and you pull it back, you have an SD card slot. And uh, that's it. So you have an SD card slot and a reset button uh, if you pull it back. And so if you can see here, let me just cover my face so it focuses on this. This honestly kind of looks like the Pixar character, the... You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so let's plug it in. Okay. Honestly, looks like a Terminator, especially with that red beeping thing. So I have to download the app and stuff for the... Uh actual Google Assistant function to work. So I'll try that now. This is a pretty big file for a single app. It's 85 megabytes. Okay, so in the app, there's a thing where it tells you to pick between the dome camera uh, and then the dome camera. And I'm not sure which dome camera is this one. And nowhere on the box does it say which dome camera it is. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 5833. It's just got a good feel. Alright, camera's connecting. It says it's gonna take one to two minutes to connect to a camera. That's a long time for a simple connection. What's actually interesting is compared to the last time, they've actually completely redesigned their app. Um, even the logo for their app looks very different. And I'm wondering if this is because of the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa functionality. Also, what's different about the app is there's only three Wi-Fi cameras available. Um, the last time I used the app, there was like 60. And so they might be just rebranding their whole lineup right now. I'm not entirely sure about that. I can't confirm on that point, but that's what it kind of seems like is happening. 34% connected. 47% connected. This is definitely taking more than two minutes. 60% connected and sitting in at over five minutes. 85% connected. We're so close now. 
So I was ultimately unable to connect the camera to my uh, tablet. But what is interesting about the app is it does offer a lot of um, weird English spellings. So a lot of it you can obviously tell it's not written by a native English speaker. So instead of saying okay and no, the options are like determine or not determine. And I find that kind of interesting and funny. Um, as for the app itself, it's like really low resolution for some reason. The graphics in the app are like, you can see the pixels. And it's not because of my tablet, because my tablet has an um, over full HD screen. Uh, it's just like the app itself is coded in a way, so it's like very low resolution, which is also another interesting point. It kind of depletes the level of premiumness that you can feel from the product. And that seems to be an overall theme of this entire device where Yes, it does look, and functionality-wise, it's much more premium, much better product. But the plastic got downgraded, the app looks a lot weirder. This overall experience of use is a lot lower quality, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, but the overall quality of the video, the quality of the mechanisms, the functionality, is actually much better. Um, which is like an interesting balance to do. So like to summarize it, Compared to the previous Uniojo camera that I reviewed, the physical quality is lower, but the quality of the video is much better. Overall, I would give this product like a pretty high marks, um, just considering the price to value ratio. It's just the problem with it was for me that the software was subpar and the quality of the plastic decreased. I think that was like a real shock for me going into it because, because the physical plastic itself is an indicator of how much the company's invested in the product. And sometimes low quality plastic doesn't mean low quality product, but just the way it feels in my hand, the lower quality, the lightness of it, the way I feel like I could just crush it, honestly, if I squeezed hard enough, that's not a good feeling to have, especially for a security camera. Um, but if you're okay with that and the price is good for you, um, the functionality is on point. The functions, they've really done a good job upgrading the functions. The resolution is higher, they've added Google Assistant, uh, they've made the night light, the night camera vision thing better. Like overall, everything seems to be a little bit better. It's just a matter of the functionality of the premium feeling of the product itself and of the software that it comes with. It's just not where I want it to be. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Uh, if you like this video, click the like button. If not, uh, don't click the like button. And uh, if you guys want to do um, buy this camera, uh, please make sure to use the link down below. Um, it's like a 30% discount, I believe. I might be wrong on that. The exact number is weird. Uh, I don't remember it. But it's like a very high discount. And so please use that link. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.